Okay. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung S5 230 uh, touchscreen phone, also known as the Toco Lite or the Star in the US. Uh, it's a pretty slim, uh, slim phone, touchscreen. Uh, it's extremely, um, it's an extremely nice design. It's got a lovely textured um, back on it, and uh, it's just very sleek and quite a sexy design, really. Uh, so let's go over the hardware features first of all. On the front, you've got a uh, you've got the speaker there, and Samsung logo. The speaker's actually really good quality for playing music and everything. Then you've got your three-inch touchscreen display, which is very nice, very responsive, and very easy to use. Um, and on the bottom, you've got your call key there, which you know to answer a call or to call someone. The back key, or the end, and the end key, which also acts as the on-off switch. On the left side. You've got the volume keys just there, and a small port for USB, headphones, charger, etc. On the top there's nothing, on the bottom there's nothing I believe, except a little microphone just there, a little hole just there. And on the right side is the camera shutter button for a 3.2 megapixel camera, and the lock button. On the back, 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera. Actually no, it's not autofocus, sorry, I've got that wrong. Just see if we can go... Bit closer in, the camera will focus. That no, probably won't. Uh, so you've got mirror there, and then the camera lens, uh, and then so Samsung logo there. And some I'm on or, this phone is on orange, so the carrier is orange. And yeah, so let's power the phone up. It takes quite a long time to power up, which is not too much of a big deal, but sometimes it can get quite annoying. This bit that lags a bit. This is bit here. Phone believe I think the phone still sells now for about sixty pounds in most um, phone stores or retailers. And uh, it just takes a while to start up. So you can see the screen is very bright and colourful. Um, it's really really nice screen. Let's see if my camera will focus in. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So, uh, it's a three inch screen just there. Uh, see, it's got touch widgets. It's the touch Wiz software from Samsung. Very nice. Uh, you've got four things on the bottom you've got dial, address book, messaging, and menu. Then you've got your three home screens just here that you can set different widgets up on. There's an the event one there, it tells you whether you've got a message on this call. So you've got server you're using there, carrier you're using, so Orange or T-Mobile or something. Hang on a second. Go away. Um, and then you've got signal strength, uh, profile setting, battery life and the time. So let's have a look at the main menu. You can see it's a 3x4 grid. Uh, let's have a look at messaging. Um, Remember the code for this. Hang on a second. Nope, not that one. Oh, stupid thing. Hang on. Oh, for flip's sake. Oh, it's not letting me have it. Hang on. There we go. Let's create a new message. This phone does have an accelerometer in, which is really good. So you can either type in second. So you can either type in um, like this, just hey, whatever, or you can turn it round and type like that. Keyboard, which is cool. Uh, <clears throat> there is different um, social networking apps widgets for this phone as well, which I'll probably show you. Just hang on a second. Quite slow. There you go. Facebook and MySpace just there, which is pretty nice. Dress book is pretty neat as well. Uh, excuse me for the rubbish camera, but you've got a little tab there that you pull down and you can search for people via their first name, which I think is a pretty nice feature. Um, so let's go on to the menu again. Uh, let's have a look at menu. The camera, 3.2 megapixel camera. Let me just get a prop. Not a very good prop, I know, but <laughs> just take a picture of it. There we 
Okay, you can see camera quality isn't brilliant, but it's only a 3.2 megapixel camera, so it won't be that good. It won't be like iPhone standard quality, which is, by the way, the phone I'm filming with. It's an iPhone 3GS, but um, yeah. So let's go on to the music player. It doesn't have any music preloaded onto it, so. Uh, so I'll just play ring ring. It's not full volume. Yeah, it is. Volume is not bad on this phone. It's okay. It could be better, but it's not that bad. I think it's a three-inch display this phone has. It's a cool little thing here. Where let me just hang on. Get rid of that. Let me turn the phone up on the side. Really hate this keypad noise, but turning it on just to show you this one app. Uh, it's in Games and More. Tumbling Dice is pretty neat. Go. I forgot to say as well, this phone can accept micro SD cards. It's just under the battery, just there, just under the SIM card. So, it got up to 4 gigabytes, I believe, which is good. And to lock the phone, you just hold the lock, press the lock switch, and to unlock it, you just hold the tab and it unlocks. I'm going to turn that down now because it's getting annoying. So, other things the phone has it has Bluetooth. Um, it doesn't have Wi-Fi or 3G, which is a bit sucky, but it's not too bad, you know, it's it's okay. Let's go on, show you this cool feature as well. You can go on here with the S accelerometer, just turn on its side. You can, if you tilt the phone, it actually changes, which is cool. Very nice. Go on the accelerometer, the accelerometer, oh, you can just do that, which is standard. I believe this phone's rival was the LG Cookie. I preferably think the LG Cookie's better, but you know, that's just my opinion. A lot of people thought this was better. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Nice phone. Uh, so, that was the phone. If you have any more questions about the phone, I know this review wasn't very good, but this was my first review. Um, any questions, just comment, and I'll try and get back to you and answer, and answer the questions. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.